Hey guys and welcome to Blue Effects. Today we're going to be turning this shot of a lady in front of a green cloth into a full on green screenshot with an animated background completely for free within HitFilm Express using some free assets that we are providing for you down below. More on that in just a bit. Over here at Blue Effects, we create a bunch of videos in different programs including HitFilm Express, Filmora, After Effects, Premiere Pro, PowerPoint, anything you can think of and we create dozens of visual effects and provide free templates for all of you guys if you are interested. But without further ado, if you enjoy these things, leave a like down below as well as subscribe but for now let's get into HitFilm Express and create this green screenshot. So I've opened HitFilm Express and created a new project. The first thing I want to do over here is hit the new button and create a new composite shot and hit OK. Next what I want to do is actually click the import button and in that I want to actually go and find the blue effects template for the animated background which I have saved right over here. I'm going to import one of these backgrounds, let's say this one over here with the nice lens flare looking things. And then I'm going to hit import once again and navigate to where my footage is saved and import that as well. With our footage selected, let's then drag it into the timeline and boom, it appears nicely over there. What I then want to do is head to the effects panel, head over here to keying and then head to the color difference key and drop that onto our clip. Immediately it's doing something, okay? So what we need to do actually is select the screen color as green and then we can start playing around with these values to actually get rid of the green screen. Now the main thing what I want to do here is actually click the view matte option, check that box and what will be presented with is a black and white matte image of our green screen shot. Now the way this works is what you want to do is play around with these values until your subject is completely white and your background is completely black and that's what makes this really work. So let's play around with the min and max values and then we can just select the min, background is looking nice and black and the max we can just crush it in a bit until our lady is looking nice and fully whited out. We can then unselect the view matte option and obviously it's not perfect because we do have a nice green border around here so we can play around further with the gamma and just reduce that a little bit maybe about 0 0.65. Then let's head back into key and what we can do is head to matte enhancement and under the matte enhancement we can click the matte cleaner and drag it onto our clip. With the matte cleaner what we can do is just smoothen out the edges just a little bit. We can then choke the image down just a bit which means it shrinks the image down so it cuts out some of that. So you see as we choke the image down it just cuts out just a little bit of that. And then we can feather it to just smooth it out just a little bit maybe around maybe one pixel. There's still a little bit going on here, so we just tweak these settings a little bit. All we want to do is tweak, tweak, tweak. And we could feather it about two. We choke it in a little bit more. Play around with the gamma. Until we have a nice looking key. And if you play through that, we can see that the key is looking nice and keyed out and that's just simply how easy it is. All we have to do then is just cut out all of this dead space. So let's just on our clip selector, let's go to the masking tool and then we'll just mask out around our actress, close it off and that's our green screen done just like that. The final step obviously is to go into our media panel and drag in our animated background. We can then actually zoom in our our clip of our actress by going to the transform properties in the controls panel will then increase the scale of her and then we'll then position her wherever we want. It's almost like we get to control our own camera angles. Now there are a couple of extra steps that you can do. For example, you can add on something called the color balance effect and that's just because this clip has a lot of green hues going because obviously the green screen has cast some light onto the, onto the actress's skin. So what we can do is just decrease this a little bit over here. In the shadows we can bring down the green a little bit and we can up the blue intensity and drop the red by about minus one. This is just, I'm just rushing through this because we do have videos on color grading and if you do want to see a more extensive video on how to actually color grade and color correct your image maybe it's green screen or normal footage within HitFilm Express just drop a comment down below but let's go on further since I'm already doing this in the mid tones we can just decrease this by about maybe minus three and in the highlights we'll just drop the green just a little bit and as you can see just by doing that I've reduced the the green little shade that's going on her face quite a bit and let's play back what we have as a final clip and here we have a final green screen clip playing a little bit choppy but it has the actress fully keyed out on a background that's completely free to download and 
with that, it shows how easy it is to do these things these days. One actually little one final tip that I can't help but show you guys is something called a light wrap effect, which is within HitFilm Express. It's a super cool effect. All we need to do is just search for it, if I can do that, and drop it onto our actress's layer. And on that layer, let's collapse these things, I wanna set, set the source layer to the background. And as you can see, what it's doing is it's wrapping the light of the background around our actress. So we can then also control it to just make it a little bit more subtle. But as you can see, with the light wrap effect, it looks quite natural. And without it, you have this hard edge. But in reality, if she was standing in front of this very bright background, you would have some light interacting. So we could just add the light wrap effect over there. And then we can even just add a quick color grade on top. This is not actually a full tutorial. The tutorial part was the green screen part. This part that I'm doing right now is just to show you guys how far you can actually take the shot in a free program using free assets from BlueFX. So I'm gonna drop a color grade over all of this, add a curves effect, and just adjust the color of everything together at the same time. Maybe we'll add a nice little glow effect to this as well. Not a clock, a glow. Um, and we can just pop some of that glow a bit. Let's just decrease that a bit over there. We can then bring down the, up the threshold, bring down the intensity. And boom, we have a stunning looking green screen shot that we've created in, I don't know, maybe six minutes, five minutes, if you were going really fast at my pace. Um, and it's super easy to do. So if you guys enjoy these types of videos, definitely leave a like down below and comment if you wanna see more broken down versions of these videos. Maybe you wanna see more um, advanced green screen. Maybe you wanna see more color grading in relation to green screen and how to match colors because we do have videos on that as well. Um, besides that, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And if you have, please let us know about it down below. Download those free backgrounds, which is in the first line of the description. And uh, yeah, share it with your friends, subscribe, turn on notifications if you wanna see more videos the minute that they drop. And until the next one, we'll see you next time.